All right, you guys, we got this grocery store that they called in as being cold. They had no heat in the store. Turns out they got one big system, and that's it right there. Big air handler with a big trunk line up there and a heat kit up there where I've set the ladder up, and then another one where I've set that smaller ladder up on top of the freezer. Now, in this heat kit, being a 480-volt three-phase, we've got two circuits uh, and two stages. On the left side of those fuses, the left three make up stage one, and the three on the right make up stage two. Now all these red wires that you see, those are the control circuit, and the black wires is the high voltage. We've got pressure switch down there with a high limit right there behind it, and another high limit up on the top, and they're all wired in series to these contactors up there. And this is our incoming 480 power. And then these contactors uh, is what turns it on. And up above the top, we've got uh, wires that connect to the other side above the trunk line. So then this is the other side above the freezer. We've got this other heat kit, which is identical to the one on the left, on the other side. And the only difference is that it's kind of inverted. And then this is the diagram, the wiring schematic. It has the high voltage and then the control circuit, control voltage right there. It is a 24 volt um, control, whereas common gets sent out to the computer, and that's the computer right there, and then that computer will energize the different stages right there through where you see those red lights right there where it says heat one and heat two. That's our stages of heat, and it's in the process of being rewired at this time to where they can control it remotely because right now they got no remote access to it so we got to do it all manually uh, analog and then we've got here this is the uh, new computer that they got it's Emerson control and it does a whole bunch of stuff it's pretty cool I don't know very much about that but uh, I'm getting there so this is all just a bunch of uh, video footage that I recorded while I was up there so that I could come back and edit it later this side is the other heat kit and here we go. We've got a picture of it now. So it's just like the other one, except uh, it's inverted, sort of. We've got on the left side fuses, the left three are stage one, and the right three are stage two. Now, I thought it was pretty cool to note the way these are wired up. Now, we've got two contactors on the bottom and two contactors on the top. The bottom ones go through the safeties, and the top ones go to the control. So both contactors have to be energized in order for the heat strips or the stages to operate properly. You can see that on top of this transformer, we've got two wires coming out of it. And on the other transformer, we don't have any wiring coming out of it. This is on the right side heat kit. As you can see, no power, no controls coming out. So then our heat kit on the right is fed from the heat kit control from the left side. So then our control will feed to the heat kit that is underneath the camera right here, which is the one above the freezer, and then it'll go through that little conduit, metal conduit, or whatever that's called, uh, and feed to the other side above the really tall ladder that's above the hallway. Here's a view from where I'm standing on the ladder at the wiring, and we've got three different circuits there. Our transformer here will feed 24 volts through those safety switches on the left and then send common straight to this C right here. C will then come into this box here and this one on the left where you can see specifically we have a heat one and a heat two where C will feed those two as the two stages and it will then send it back out as a signal 24 volts back to this terminal block as the incoming 24 volts energize C1, which will give me power back to my first stage as 25 amps roughly on each of the three legs on the left side of the fuses that are in the heat kit. So at the same time, on the other side, we've got 25 amps on each of the three. So together, the two heat kits with the first stage will be providing our heat in all for the store. When stage two comes on, it's going to just add it to the second stage. We simply just add 24 volts to the C2 terminal, go out, and then back to the heat kit where we will energize the right side set of fuses. 
and that's going to give me a li something a little smaller. Here we're going to have 14 volts on the left of the three fuses and 14 volts on the right of the three fuses. In the middle fuse, we'll still have 25, which all that is strange. That has to do with the three-phase heat kit, which I don't really understand all that well yet. So the problem we had this time was that this knob here was set too low, and they cannot yet remotely control these because they haven't been wired in yet. You can see the wires are just hanging there on the bottom. So me and another guy went back the next day, and we rewired it to where they can now remotely access it. Um, and these Johnson controllers, where were controlling it before, are no longer connected to it. So I mean, like, overall, I just thought this was a very interesting job. I found it pretty cool. You know, all of it, I had to, I had to figure all this out for myself. When I got there, I didn't even know where the heat was. I didn't know what was wrong with it. I didn't know why it wasn't coming on. I had no idea. I had to learn that the transformer was 24 volts and that it sent out power and then it brought power back. So I had to learn all this myself. So it's very interesting. It took me a couple hours on that job. And then I had to do another job uh, after that, which was the video I just uploaded before this one, video number 92. But I just thought I'd share all that with you because um, I thought it was interesting. Um, here's some extra footage that I recorded, some video footage while I was there, and thanks for watching. Alright, now I've gotten C1 energized, which has this one on. I'm about to energize this one, putting these two to together with this one, which is my signal. are now energized.
I've got 25 amps pulling off of four of these and 14 amps pulling off of two of them. And it's the same on the other side. 25 on four, 14 off two, 